today myself and my students together we are giving you the demonstration with respect to the quality test for proteins let us see first what are proteins proteins are the high molecular weight compounds which are made up of large number of amino acids which are held together by peptide linkages then uh, we will be having two main samples of the proteins so how to identify how to identify the given sample of the protein for that reason we are having the uh, systematic procedure to identify the given sample of the protein that is we will be carrying out the identification test for proteins so in the identification test for proteins we are going to carry out two tests which will bring us or which will let us know regarding the which are the proteins present in the given sample so in that sequence with respect to the identification test for proteins the first test what we are doing is by test this test is performed to identify whether the given sample contains proteins or not so moving on to the next test that is in hybrid again it is performed to know that whether the given sample contains the proteins or not similarly we will perform the isoelectric precipitation test which gives us the information that whether the given sample is kc or not then we are going to perform one more test that is human's test which further confirms the presence of kc as a protein in the given sample similarly we are going to perform one more test that is heat coagulation test which gives us the information whether in the given sample albumin is present or not similarly we are going to carry out half saturation test where we can get to know that in the given sample albumin or gelatin is present or not similarly there is a last test that is full saturation test which gives us the confirmation with respect to the presence of albumin or gelatin as the uh, proteins and also it can be also used to identify the given sample uh, whether it contains the peptone or not so moving on to the color reactions of the proteins this is a different set of the reactions what we are going to try to prove from this so already we identified the protein now it is our work to identify what type of amino acids are present in those respective proteins so what we can do for that there are again the systematic reactions are there there are defined reactions are there by carrying those reactions we can get to know which type of the amino acids are present this to everyone i am archana i am performing a qualitative test for proteins for given unknown samples by urea test for 3 ml of a sample solution plus 2 ml of a NaOH plus 2 to 3 drops of CuSO4 mix well by performing it appearance of a violet color it indicates that uh, proteins and peptides may be present uh, in hydrogen test 1 ml of sample solution plus 2 drops of in hydrogen reagent and boil by observing it appearance of a purple color it indicates that presence of amino acids and proteins isoelectric Uh, 5 ml of sample plus uh, 3 drops of uh, bromocrisol and the color changes green to blue and add a 1% of acetic acid drop wise by observing it no curdy uh, no curdy precipitate is observed and it is uh, casein is absent fourth newman's test 5 ml of sample plus 0.5 ml of naoh boil and cool plus add 0.5 ml of concentrated hno3 and filter to filter it add a pinch of solid ammonium molybdate and warm gentle no body precipitate is observed indicates the absence of organic phosphorus in casein speed coagulation test 5 ml of a sample plus 3 drops of a, a chlorophenol red uh, the color changes to purple by performing it violet color appears it indicates that presence of albumin sixth test half saturation test 2 ml of sample plus solid ammonium sulfate uh, till the solution is soluble and uh, and allow to stand for 5 minutes and filter P uh, perform the biuret test for the uh, filtrate using equal volume of naoh and uh, two drops of cuso4 by observing it a uh, heat uh, dense coagulum is formed in the upper part of the solution it will be lower part of the solution which acts as a conductivity indicates that a presence of albumin and test full saturation test 3 ml of sample plus solid ammonium sulfate until the solution is soluble allow to stand for 5 minutes and and filter the solution and perform the biuret test for the filtrate by using a equal volume of naoh plus uso4 by performing it blue color appears it indicates the presence 